In this video, we'll share the top 15 things to do in Nuremberg. At number one, we have the Nuremberg Zoo. This zoo is one of the largest in Europe, set in a former sandstone quarry. It offers natural enclosures for Siberian and Bengal tigers, as well as large landscaped environments where bison, giraffes, deer, and zebras roam in semi-freedom. The zoo also features a 17-meter high walkway in the bearded vulture enclosure. At number two, we have the German National Railways Museum. This museum is the oldest of its kind in the country and celebrates Nuremberg's historical significance in the development of railways. It houses sections from King Ludwig the Coup's royal train and a 1930s DRG class SVT 877, which was the fastest rail connection in the world at the time. At number three, we have the Germanisches National Museum. This museum is a treasure trove of German-speaking culture, featuring over 25,000 exhibits. From medieval art to scientific instruments, the museum offers a comprehensive look into Germany's cultural past. At number four, we have the Nuremberg Toy Museum. This museum celebrates Nuremberg's status as a traditional toy-making capital in Germany. The museum is housed in the Renaissance Hallersches Haus and features pre-war games and toys like dolls, dollhouses, and magic lanterns. At number five, we have the Stadtmuseum Fembohaus. This city museum is located in a beautiful five-story edifice, dating back to the end of the 16th century. It offers a shortcut to the culture, customs, and trades that flourished in Nuremberg over 950 years. At number six, we have the Documentation Center Nazi Party Rally Grounds. This museum walks you through the causes, reality, and aftermath of the Nazi regime. It provides extra depth on the Nuremberg rallies and the architectural plans for the city. At number seven, we have the Nuremberg Trials Memorial. Courtroom 600 at the Justiz Palast is where high-ranking Nazis were brought to justice. The top floor of the courthouse has been turned into a museum about the Nuremberg trials. At number eight, we have the Albrecht Dürer's house. This is the house where Germany's greatest painter lived and worked. The house is one of the few burger houses left from Nuremberg's 15th century golden age. At number nine, we have the St. Sebaldus Church. This church is a mix of Romanesque and Gothic architecture, featuring artworks like the Tucher family epitaph and wood sculpture by the Renaissance virtuoso Veit Stoss. At number 10, we have the St. Lorenz Church. This church was one of the first to become Lutheran and features valuable pieces like Veit Stoss Renaissance carving of the angelic salutation. At number 11, we have the Kaiserberg. This castle was a significant location during the times of the Holy Roman Empire. The castle keep at the circular Sinwell Tower offers an observation platform with a panoramic view of the city. At number 12, we have the Schönerbrunnen. This 19-meter Gothic fountain is located on the edge of the main market square and was crafted in the late 14th century. At number 13, we have the city walls. These walls have been standing since the 1000s and were only ever captured once, in 1945 by the Americans. Some four kilometers of these medieval walls are still standing. At number 14, we have the Nürnberger Felsengänge. These are a series of tunnels and cellars cut into the sandstone bedrock, mostly used for beer storage. Tours are available and finish with a rotbier tasting session. At number 15, we have the Nürnberger Bratwurst. This local sausage is protected under EU law and has been produced in the city since 1567. The sausages are seasoned with fresh marjoram and usually grilled over a beech wood fire. So that sums up my top 15 things to do in Nuremberg. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.